Save data has been carried over. Like, how much? Oh. As in literally the whole thing. This does not look... This does not look 4K. This looks really blurry. Language settings. Audio language. Japanese. The English voice acting isn't bad, but the story is based on the demo. So I really don't care. It saddens me to say that I don't care about story. Is this literally just going to put me back where I ended the demo? I, I was assuming, you know, some kind of gear or title would carry over as opposed to the whole save file. Frame rate's flickering all over the place. Yeah, th this is straight after... 30 FPS lock cutscenes because of course they are. And lightning. Still got the annoying hiccupy things that I was getting in the demo. You. This is all very dramatic. Oosh. But unfortunately, because the, the uh, cutscenes are playing at 30... Yes, we did. <laughs> These are, to the best of my knowledge, lots of interesting historical figures from the uh, Three Kingdoms thingy, except that... <sighs> at some point... Video game designers who plumb this particular mythology are going to realize that most people in the West do not know anything about these characters. This looks like shit. This looks really bad. Why? When I switch between windowed and borderless... Can you see how the font goes really blurry? Ah, I'm not putting up with this. This is bad. It's weird because the demo was working fine. Let's quit out and boot it up again. And if it still looks like ass, then I will have to go and see if it's uh, a known issue. Because it's not like my PC can't handle this. It was absolutely fine in the demo. Oh, that's still blurry. Right. Still blurry as well. It's not got HDR on. Right. There we go. Yeah, so it wasn't saving the resolution settings properly. Now, the performance in the demo was a little bit all over the place, if I'm honest. Skip. Right, what's it going to be up to? Oh, 50s? What? Oh, no, there we go, 80. Either way, it looks a lot, a lot clearer. You can just tell from the font. Now, isn't this... Yeah, this is the place where we did the first demo. I don't know why I'm talking to people. I literally do not care a jot about the story in this game. As I was saying, uh, let's level up. I'm going full wood like I did in the first demo. Uh, we can now travel between different areas. That's some deliveries. You have received the following crouching dragon helmets. Great. Don't know what I got that for. Uh, 
<laughs> that looks silly. How do I check the sets there? No, that just tells me what a set bonus is. See, this is something that I've always been annoyed with in terms of just want to see. Ah, there we go. Spirit gain, spirit damage received down, Berserker's Mites. Does it tell me how many pieces I need to equip to activate it? Because I've got the full set on. I, I, I shouldn't expect games from this developer to be particularly well tutorialized or anything. The Neo devs have never done a very good job, unfortunately. Ow. Ow. Oops. People are talking. This doesn't feel like it's running at uh, land fifty fatal strikes. I assume. Yeah, this frame rate does not fit. Like, I'm going to try. Let's see if we can lock it at 60 and see if that helps. Because sometimes forcing a computer tr to try and do more can mess things up. Hi, friend. It was a bold attempt to... At, uh, Tiger Seal. I do wish there was like a, a stealth button. There isn't. You have to kind of approach like that, which is very odd. Kind of interesting that I've got two people with me. Right, now there were two enemies here. Guys, attack. Oh, I could have had a backstab on him. That was a terrible. Oh, dear. I have been murdered. Crushing defeat. Guan Hu is seeking aid. Me too. Let's put R on. I need something that's going to scale with the stat that I've actually got equipped. One sword I've already got equipped. That was quite good, if I remember correctly. I also really like the club, but it doesn't scale with the stats that I've got. Now, I'm assuming that this level is laid out the same as it previously was. Uh, oh, that guy is now level six. Oh, that's great. Thanks. I really needed that. Clonk, clonk. Sharp reflexes. Successfully deflected. Ten critical blows. I assume these are showing up because I've already done the prerequisites in the demo. Um, and it's just triggering them now. I stick this pole through your chest, sir. Now, there's a guy behind us there. Yes, I remember you. Oh, you didn't die. Righteous judgment. Executed vengeance ten times. These aren't showing up on the screen, are they? 
No. That's a shame. I don't actually know whether I can... Can I get the Xbox overlay to show on this? Probably not. Yeah, it's still not getting uh, the 60 FPS, are we? Right. Storehouse can be accessed by the blacksmith. Upgrade your equipment. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, let's upgrade our... Our stick? Interesting. There are now wizards. They were not in the demo. <laughs> um, yeah, this layout is slightly different to, to how it was. Ooh, clonk. The, the combat and the flow of the combat is great. They've they've messed with the, um, the the kind of dodge deflection framings since the demo, and they feel much better. Not since the demo, since the first demo. Um, but the story's still ass. <laughs> I mean, if, if you are an expert on this period of history and you think, oh, actually, this is all really good, that's great. I'm happy for you, but it's it's not a well-told story. It's it's a lot of people that appear and disappear and, you know, who, who cares? Uh, oh yeah, they do their, their interesting runny patty thing, don't they? And they, they kind of get messed up. Oh, I'm out of arrows. That's why I can't fire anymore. Oh, those boxes. They're phasing in and out of existence. I don't know whether that's an LOD thing or what. Oh no, a thing in a... Oh shit. That's fire. Let's not stand in the fire. Are these guys just finishing things off for me? Here they are. See, I, I, I do not like this. I do not like having these NPCs just doing so much work. Clonk. Let me raise this flag. Fortitude rank increased. Yeah, something about the game's visuals just... It doesn't feel like it's running at anywhere close to 60. Which is weird because the demo was... Right, if I try uncapping the frame right now... Yeah, see that? That's not good performance. That the game isn't good looking enough to be this demanding at 4K. I, I know I'm recording at the same time and that causes issues, etc, etc. Let's prioritise FPS. This might make a difference, it might not. And to be fair, it doesn't really look a huge amount different for the most part. Uh, no. There's a guy behind me, isn't there? Yeah. Must remember, this is a Souls game. Don't mash the button. He says, then promptly does exactly that. Flunk. Doing quite a lot of damage. Maybe it's because I'm sat closer to the screen. That could be a thing. Because when I've been playing the demo... I've been sitting back 
in my chair but obviously in order to do the whole talk to the microphone thing um i actually need to be at least a little bit closer to the microphone mind you i suppose i could pull the microphone towards me but that would knock off the things off my desk let's drop this ladder uh and in fact climb down why climb when you can jump we've got an absolute ton of genuine g so let's go and spend it on a level up because we can speed through all of this with little to no issue see the, the npc is constantly hitting things just means i don't know when an attack's even coming my way Terrible, terrible play. Right. Let's go fight the tiger. Why have I switched over to the sword? Jeez, it just feels really weird. I don't know why. It feels different compared to the demo. This guy is now at 10. Oh, you're going to hit him then, okay. I think actually part of the problem... I'm going to have to put my headphones on. Because I need a little bit more sound. Uh, Lieutenant General Gauntlet's Great Wooden Hammer. That didn't stay on long enough. Battle flag raised. In fact, let's level up again. It's, it's not the most exciting leveling curve that I'm going for here. Uh, wasn't there something? Yes, there was. I was going to say. Plonk. Yeah, I, I just wish you could turn off these companions, frankly. I neither want nor need them. Yeah, th this feels better in the uh, the performance mode. I don't know what it's changed. Oh, yeah, these are enemies. Clonk. Oh, fire. Fire hot. Ow, ice cold. Uh, if I remember correctly, we go round here and up, don't we, to... Uh, I love the fact that you can parry magic. Uh, was this the bridge that collapsed? Look up there. Yeah, okay. Uh, there's some stuff below us. We'll go back for that in a second. I thought I saw a guy. I guess... I did not. There's a guy there. And there was. <laughs> Clonk. Decorative knot. Two stars. <sighs> you seem to be struggling. 
Yeah, because sometimes the wall jumping mechanic doesn't work. Wow, that takes off our entire health bar, does it, if we fall? Not sure I'm a fan of that. At least you can jump onto ladders, which I do appreciate. Um, uh, it's amazing, actually, how well I... Ooh, how well I remember this level. What is it that I... Oops. It's that to inspire. I, I do really, really like that you can just parry everything. I, I think that's really... A dizzy flute? Y you guys don't seem to be doing too hot. I mean, you're, you're in such a bad state that you're... phasing out of existence. What is a dizzy flute? I'm intrigued. Not a ranged weapon. That is a shame. I was kind of hoping it would be. It's a... Uh, wizardry spur, stone damage, positive effect duration. I'll have that. Oh God, the inventory management. I, I just... No. What? How did that sort? Oh, it says down at the bottom. Rarity. Type. Oh, no. I'm not going to start ranting about it. I, I loathe, I, I really, really dislike the loot management. I, I, I found it detestable in Neo. It was arguably not quite as bad in a way in Neo 2, but it was still pretty bad. And it, it's almost like they've learned nothing. They haven't figured out how to tell a decent story either. Unfortunately. Uh, this is where the enemies come up over the side from, isn't it? Yeah. Funk. Uh, don't know where the other guy went. We'll probably end up chasing. Oh, hello! You weren't in the, uh... That was a good block. Oh, that's fire. Fire bad. Who's... Excuse me. You. Back off. And you. Avenged Temp Weevil? I earned 86 accolades. Apparently. Shockingly. A hidden flag. Yes. I like the flag mechanic, even if the levels are not particularly inspired. I like the combat, even if it is a little bit odd at times. The enemy variety is not great. I much preferred, and, and this is one of the few times that you'll hear me praise Neo, uh, or Neo 2 rather, I much preferred the, the enemy variety in Neo. Uh, 
That just ate my inputs and did no attack, which is a choice. Bye. I'm a stick, my stick in. No, wait. <laughs> That's the bridge that collapses. Yes, I discovered you could shoot that guy in the head in the um, the first demo. And he's going to come back because I'm, I'm going to level up again. But this is where the tigers are, isn't it? Assuming they've kept the same enemy layouts. Oh, this is different. Hello. It's a tiny panda thing. I didn't actually read what it said because I was so surprised it was a tiny panda thing. Uh, documents. Tutorial. Was it this? Aha. It's like that thing in the previous game oh no it moves how cute it gave me an incense container okay oh hello uh Oh, this is one of the big boys. It was. Isn't this where the warlock was? Oh, just he stay dead. Guess he must have done. Oh. Man has resistances. I mean, they didn't help him. Five colored cudgel. Not seen one of those before. What's a five colored colored? There. Five colored cudgel. Hmm. Sure. So C scaling on that. The Warlock's defeat lowered the unit's morale. Yes. Fortitude rank up. I can't remember. Was there a tiger hiding under us here? Was that a different one? I remember the, the, the watery nymphy things. Ah! That's where the other tiger was. Didn't actually mean to aggro the other one, did I? dead 72 accolades don't know what they are dragon vein essence is that the thing that lets us that okay dragon vein s i thought that was the thing that increased the number of uses that we've got but apparently not it just makes it better Fortunately, we can ambush them really easily. 
Uh, wasn't there another? No? Ah, yes. This one paths over here, which we can use to ambush, but it will mean that the... That just ate my input again. Raised morale rank to 20 for the first time. Not technically true. Out of the way. Now, over here... Yes, still a drop to our death. Good to know. Now we can. <sighs> I stick a pole in you. A bamboo bow. Now, through here, there was a big guy to the right and a... Invasion? Are you? Come here. Blah. Nice. I believe we wanted to finish enemies off like that where we can. Oh, I think this may have changed. Let's open this shortcut up. And in fact, let's go and spend our... <gasps> the peacock's back. I don't know what the peacock actually is. I'm sure at some point I will uh, find out what it's called. Right, there was this guy. I remember him. And the big guy down there who we buffs if we, if we let him. But... Now, this guy technically will path under us so we can do that i'm afraid you don't seem to be paying anywhere near enough attention defeated all warlocks performing the ritual in the valley of crying wraiths achievement unlocked Blonk. oh hello Camera. Yeah, he used to be a big boy. Oh, now there's going to be a boss round here. Is it going to be... I assume it's not going to be the same boss as it previously was. Um, because he's now at the... Hi, Tiger. <laughs> See, when the combat is, is flowing and it's not being interrupted by the NPCs kind of getting in the way, it feels great. You know, I like the ebb and flow of the spirit mechanic. It's it's good stuff. But the NPCs are annoying and the story is... The story is who cares. But at the end of the day, it's a backdrop for soul stuff. Okay, we've got delightfully little... Ooh, this is, uh, spoops. Hey, mate. Really? Uh, I'm not entirely sure why that hit me, but hey. Tiger Seal. Right, is this going to be the same boss... As it was in the first demo. Or is it going to be something new? <laughs> you be set on fire for that. <gasps> yeah, this is a different guy. Sweet! New boss to learn. Woohoo! 
Anybody see that? That was cool. Oh, he's done a thing. Oh. Well. What is the, the general of Earth and clearly fire using? Am I thinking too literally? Well, that was a, a fairly decent first attempt, in my opinion. See, I was hoping I could stagger him out of that fire thing. Oh, that's uh, a targeted fire thing. Okay. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. We hug. Nope, not this time. I'm concentrating here. There's some warlocks here. Hold on. They're probably doing something. Uh, yeah. It's not standing that. Is there another? Yeah, there is. Oh. No. Oh, feck's sake. It locked up. <sighs> For some reason, it decided to lock onto the boss when I was trying to unlock from everything out. I just wanted to... <sighs> yeah, I assume, potentially wrongly... Oh, those come out in waves. Interesting. Oh, that's wonderful. Please make the camera spin more. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. <sighs> now, I actually don't want to... Uh. See, I don't want to lock on to him automatically. Uh. 
There we go. Ritual Sword of Chaos. Where's he gone? I didn't feel like a glorious victory. That felt like a camera boss, <laughs> frankly. Yeah, I, I, I literally don't know who these characters are and I don't care an absolute jot about any of them. Games that deal with this mythology need to stop using historical figures they need to make their own interesting characters have us spend time with them and then we will engage with them because as it is it is just relying on for narrative purposes and any kind of empathy for these characters it just relies on us knowing or caring who they are hot take maybe that is i don't know it's like i do not care about who any of these people are i know that they're all real historical people of significance etc etc um but this isn't doing a good job of teaching us about the history if that's what you want to try and claim because you don't spend enough time with any of them they're just people to get in the way during combat currently Will of the Loyal swore an oath with two historical figures that you probably don't know or care about. You've got some stuff. Journey's beginning, awakened from the sleep of death, the sound of the blindfolded boy's voice. Swore an oath with Zhao Yun, Vow of the Stalwart. Uh, I think those are... Yes, those will be the achievements for finishing Mission 1 and Mission 2, which we did in the demo. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.